we are in the mall. Um, see how things go. You know, just to be out with the family, taking advantage that we are over here. How's it going? Um, and yeah, let's have some fun. home and I said I was not gonna stop at bath bath and body works but they had a sale and I'm a candle addict and that's the reason why I didn't even want to go in because I always go for candles and I was like I'm not spending money on candles and I absolutely did because if you saw the previous clip you buy two and you get two free So I got this one. This one it's called Evergreen. This is my favorite like smell ever. Like I when it's oh Christmas, I want a pine tree smell. That will make me oh, will make me feel a fucking Christmas. And at first it was the only one I found and it was completely out of place. And then all the other ones, I didn't like them. Like, there were so many holiday flavors, and I was so picky about them. Also, I had the fucking mask on, so I cannot really, like, really, really, really appreciate and smell them. Oh, fuck. Okay, I forgot I was doing coffee, and I didn't put the top, the pot. So, what was I? Oh, um, I couldn't really smell them, but even with the mask on, some of them smell so strong or way too sweet, and I was like, no. <laughs> So I guess one of the girls saw me like smelling every single candle there was and going around the candles like three times and she was like, are you looking for a specific scent? And I'm like, I want really, really holiday scents. And I wanted this one, but they didn't have it. And she started mad smelling because I was hoping she would say, yes, we have more, but there was no more. So she showed me like three until I finally gave up and just purchased the third one. And right when I was in the line, over the corner, in a corner, in a tiny little corner, right where it did not belong, there was a second one. I found both of them where exactly did not belong, completely alone waiting for me. So I got two of this. This is the first one I got. Um, it obviously caught my attention because it, were, it looked really holiday-ish. The smell does not tell me holiday. It's winter candy apple, but it's a good smell. I... For me, it's a clean smell. Like, this would be perfect to turn it on right when I cl finish cleaning the house. Oh, I don't know. For me, it reminds me of a clean house. AKA, not holiday, but apparently it's holiday. So. And the next one, I really wanted to get it because I really wanted to give it a try. Um, one of my favorite YouTubers, she's been getting this one like for like three years now. Apparently, this is her favorite, so I was like, okay, I need to try it on. So, and then I noticed there were like three different ones, so I'm not sure if the what changed was the outside. Um, but I think the sense did change a little bit, anyway. I don't know, but this was the one that I liked the most. It's, I show you like this, like if you were smelling it, like, and to be honest. I do like the smell of it, so we'll see. But yeah, you buy two and you get two for free. So we got four gallons. <laughs> My babies. You do not understand how addicted I am to this. Like, you wanna win my heart? You wanna win my heart? Give me Bath and Body Works candles. So, I also got me some for the car, but this one was a real struggle because 
they don't smell and they didn't have anything like like samples for the smell so i just had to grab and cross my fingers so these are for the car i do have the car scent thingy so every time i go i buy um for my car so i got um there are three for nine for the car so i got me the car ones um the next thing i got was actually for chanel washer i got this one for me too um i want them wanted them in black but i already have some black i should have get the black i'm probably gonna regret for the rest of my life um i barely get shoes in my size in old navy but this one was more pretty more elegant so i got this one instead um and i really like it um i used to be high heel hole a high heel kind of hole but as older i get the less i want them Especially when I had three kids and I had to be running behind them with heels. No. And I got her jeans. This is her first ever long pair of jeans. Because my daughter has a situation where she is too small. So if she finally finds something that fits in the heat, in the hips, they are not long enough. They're like this. And if they are long enough, they don't fit in here. So right now, this one, look, everything I had to got in one side. And this is everything I have to get on the other side for it to be tight. So, yeah, they're still not going to be like super skinny how I wish. But this is the first one that actually, actually look okay for her. She has a serious pants issue. And then she was like, the rainbow, mommy. And I honestly fell back because she's sick. So the fact that she actually noticed the fucking rainbow from far away just made me want to get her one. So... I got her some rainbow pants and old navy and some black ones because the ones that she had she completely destroyed them so I also went to Warrior and got me hair dye I also lost my my eyebrow um brush so I had to use pencil and me and pencils do not get along so I had to go to Walgreens and get me a new eyebrow brush I also stopped at Forever 21 I've been wanting to little by little change my style I feel so frustrated because when I go to my closet, I completely hate my closet. Like, there is probably like three, including this one, one of the three, that I like. Um, I need a new closet. Also, I'm older now. My style has changed. My, you know, my, my taste has changed. So, I don't know. What I have in my closet is not my style anymore. So, I completely fucking hate it. So, um, I got this cute. I am more like a crop top now. And I feel like it looks like with a good jeans and good like shoes, it will look super elegant. I like this, the cut of it. I feel like it looks really elegant. So, um, and then this is completely out of my comfort zone, especially because I don't have fucking boobs. So hopefully it will be okay enough. Um, I had these, it's completely open. So I might have to like find a way to like over here because again, I don't have fucking boobs. So but it's really elegant and again good jeans good shoes it would do wonders so i got me that and you know me talking about not being a high heel person but again i want to change my style i want to look better like right now i don't look hot okay i look fucking disgusting i need to go back to my true roots you know so i got me some high heels that are actually comfortable um they're really pretty they are comfortable and they're elegant and like these with these long jeans they will look really pretty um same things that i have ignore my fucking hair i think it will look really good so anyway that was my little shopping um i didn't get anything for the boys because the last three times i had gone to the mall i got them jeans and shoes and shirts so this time it was for me and chanel and yeah next day um let's go to the daily mantra where i live feels like at home let's see do you love where you live no 
Your home is your sanctuary and source of inspiration. If you live in an environment that strains your energy, consider adding more love. Now could be a good time to begin making arrangements to move into a place you like more. If it's not time for you to move, you can add more comfort in your home with candles, soft music, and things you love. I've been thinking a lot of that lately, like, I had this goal of leaving Puerto Rico and that goal already passed. I completely failed and like a part of me gave up, a part of me surrendered to the fact to stay living in a place where it's not home. I, it hasn't feel, I've been here for like almost five years and a half and it still doesn't feel home. I'm not happy here. I'm very lonely here. I completely hate it here. And I kind of surrender myself to the thought that I'm not supposed to be where I belong. Like, I'm, I don't disturb the things that I want and need. I don't know how to explain it, but I think it's hilarious because I was thinking about this these last couple of days, how I lost my inspiration track. And now the new year is coming and I need to work on my new year's resolutions and stuff like that. Um, I needed to go back to my previous goals, wishes and dreams and like feel that passion that desire again because I completely lost my desire to like achieve my dreams and be where I really want to be um the mantra from today is my home is a reflection of my best self I honor where I live and care for my place I know my home is a sanctuary which allows me to be my best self what does my home say about me well, my home does not feel about home, and this is why I've been wanting to do the, this little remodel, remodel, renovation, renovation, revamp, um, to make it feel like home. Because I think that also because I haven't taken care of my home, I haven't like decorated in a way that feels like home. When I go to other houses, certain other houses, I like, oh my god, this feels like a home. This feels so cozy, so uncomfortable, so them, and like my home, it just like whatever is cheap whatever i got for free i just got it put it there like and there's no love there's no me there's no nothing in there so i've been wanting to little by little remodel my home and make it feel more like a home and yeah that's been my goal but because of the job situation i haven't been able to but hopefully next year next year we will remodel our home and make it feel home so anyway and um, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you get notified every time a vlogmas comes by. And I will see you tomorrow. I promise you, we're coming back to the green. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.